All right, so we're checking out the only game where you can brainwash the entire population into participating in Mortal Kombat over in-game items. It's Mad Games Tycoon. We sold some pretty inappropriate games in that other tycoony game game. I really love the fact that in MMOs, people effectively can kill each other just because they get or lose different in-game items. I want a game like that because you can make a lot of money. New game, damn it. I'm gonna have a real name this time. I never like name my people anything legitimate for a name, but I wanted something kind of traditional here. Uh, company name, yeah. Oh, you can choose a company logo. Sweet baby Jesus. <laughs> There's a naughty chicken one? We've got to pick that. Our guys, our, did I make our guy's last name strong chicken? Oh, you know it's a memorable name when you make it yourself and you forgot what it was like 12 seconds later. We're picking this. I don't even care. Say hello to Lucas Strong Chicken. He's not very good at much, but what do we have here? Game design? Work wheel? What the hell is work wheel? Is this the ability to just continue working even though you feel like you're gonna die? All the way up. Special feature. Oh, hi. Oh my god, I don't know what most of this is. Aren't we starting in like 1980? I have a feeling that the VR 3D support isn't gonna be good for a while. Oh my god, hold on. Save game support? I wanna let you guys know, as a YouTuber, uh, playing games without save game support is enough to make most people want to shove their face through the screen of their monitor. So we're gonna use that. We did simulation last time. So this time we're gonna do economic simulation. <laughs> Welcome everyone to my freaking garage where it all- What the hell was that? Was that, a, was that a phone? There's no phones in this area. Hold on a second. Yeah, I don't freaking think so. I don't know what this bird sound is, but I don't want it. All right, little development area. Here's a friggin' door for you. I hope you're happy. Oh, mother of God. Just what I always want. Oh, you can buy plants. Okay, this game gets an immediate 10 out of 10. As a matter of fact, you get a plant right now. I haven't even bought anything else. In fact, you get two plants. The Propagator? That's the name of this plant? It sounds like a superhero. I'm not gonna lie, I could get the cheap desk, but this is called a limp desk. I can hear it in the comments section already. People will be like, Gray, you always need to pick the rigid desk, not the- Oh my <laughs> god, this thing's gigantic. Doesn't leave a lot of space for anything else. I'm gonna have the plants at my back so they can watch. Little area for the bathroom over here. It's interesting as you hover over stuff that there's little tool tips. Like this says it's where you develop games. This just says <laughs> self-explanatory. Wait, you can rename this? There we go. All right, we're gonna put this over here for the development room. There, you get a hand dryer too, and a sink. Wait, can you put the can you put the sink directly underneath the hand dryer? I don't know why, but this looks like a really really bad place for this. It feels like it would almost be an electrical problem. Ah, whatever. The guy's got to die someday anyway. All right, let's do this. Get your ass in there. Never leave. In case any of you guys are wondering, medieval games are on the rise right now. What kind of random game names do we have here? Suncraft Housevania. <laughs> The most boring version of Castlevania. Ring Commander, Frog, or Call of Duty, Jesus. All right, we're just gonna call this Murder Your Friends. This is gonna be the start of the brainwashing that's going to enable the public to eventually slay one another just to get like a, a plus five staff in a game. Target audience, children. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Let's call the old people. We'll do seniors today. We messed with the children enough last time. These are the topics I have. Boat, fish, and rugby? R rugby, I guess. That seems like a good place to murder your friends. Oh, you can pick select another one. Boat, rugby. Oh, that's a new sport. Whatever, let's go even weirder. It's gonna be fish rugby. Uh... Arcade game. Come in a floppy disk, 1980. The first ever fish rugby style game. Murder your friends. Oh god, I'm back in slider bar hell. Uh, I want a really good story for, for fish rugby. Oh god, uh, what the hell? You can get it to bug out past 100% for just a few seconds. I kind of wonder if you were quick enough on clicking this, if you could screw with the game. Wow, this is exactly the image I had in mind when I made this game. See, that's, that's a fish, okay? Give me a break. I wasn't a great artist in school. Oh, you can find a publisher? Hell yes. I'm gonna pick these guys because they're the cheapest. Oh, the ratings are coming in. The graphics look really good. It's not much to complain about. The sound is really good. Only a few oddities. The controls are a little too complicated. There's only two buttons on the friggin' on the pad here, okay? Oh, it's not a pad, it's the PC. There's probably only two buttons on the damn PC. It's a good game. 
The genre is in the trend. It is? I didn't know this. Eh, rugby fish, medieval. Maybe we should develop a sequel. Of course we should. Oh, prepare your anuses. We can finally do research. I'm gonna put this door over here because I hate symmetry. Look at how much people love murder your friends. I'm so glad. I'm so glad that everyone feels the same way I do. Hire staff. Uh, I just need someone to do research. I don't know what that's considered. Maybe office work. We're developing arcade games. This is an arcade guy. Congratulations, Hog, Hog, Holger. You're, you're hired. This is probably a real name, but I'm not gonna lie. It sounds like a level 10 warrior in D&D. &D. Get in there. You're just a schlep, so you get the crappy desk. You can have the wood one. Oh, you can have water coolers? Do they have to be inside of the... Oh, you can put them wherever you want. I'm gonna put it in the bathroom. <laughs> you can buy a fire extinguisher. Please tell me that your entire studio can catch on fire. I'm not buying this. Congratulations. You get a small palm. You get two small palms. All righty. Search topics. Oh my god. The devil? <laughs> this is a topic? Oh, you have demons and devil. Oh my god. Dungeons. That seems appropriate for Holgar to be researching. Erotic. <laughs> we can develop erotic games again. <laughs> I don't even care. We're doing a, a game about a hell. Absolutely. In fact, I'm not going to develop a game until this guy's done researching this. What the hell are you doing? You getting a drink? Get your ass back in there and keep researching. What the hell is this? Your games are selling well. Okay. Updates and language packs. What the hell? Develop a game update for murder your friends. Ah, uh, new levels and a new campaign and new game modes. Oh, screw it. I'm picking everything. I don't know what this does. Oh my god, updating games is freaking amazing. Develop language packs. Can we do anything else? Oh, there's only one. Oh, an MMO add-on. Yeah, remove all the bugs. I just noticed that the characters will randomly say stuff every once in a while. He just said Hadouken. All right, hell is researched. We're, what the freaking hell did I just do? Oh my god, I picked up a plant. Uh, there we go. What happens if we make this one for children? <laughs> Select a topic. Hell. Fish worked really good, so I'm doing it again. Man, you know things are getting up there when you can research for color support. Please. Murder your friends had a profit of $104,000. Oh my god. You did really good last time, so you get to publish this game one more time. Do it. 57%. They really should have spent more time on this. Have you seen our name? Like our business name? Don't worry, we're gonna update it. Oh, you can develop your own engine now? How? Oh my god, I want sprites in the game. Finally, we can actually see creatures murdering one another. Develop new engine. Sure. All right, we're going to call this Murder Fest Engine, but monetization worthy. Wait, how many characters am I allowed to put here? I'm sorry, YouTube demonetization bot. JK, I'm not sorry. Suck it. Optimize for ar arcade games. Do you can sell the engine? Okay. What happens if you put the cost at like a bajillion dollars? I'm assuming no one would ever buy it, right? But I have to check just to see. All right, we're doing Murder Fest engine this time. Buy dev kits. Oh my God. What the hell? <laughs> Saved by the hell got worst game of the year? I hate this. Just call me going to hell game. I didn't even have that many fans to get. I got the achievement. I'm the worst. I'll research platformer. I'm starting to run out of money, though. Hopefully this game sells really good. Oh, it's economic simulation, finally. The graphics are great. They're the best I've seen in some time. That's what four colors get you, boys. Well done. We need another developer. Can I shove another another desk in here somewhere? It's getting a little cramped, but whatever. It'll, it'll work. Oh, your name's Lucas as well? Sweet. You're hired. Get in there. Balls to the max. Just got developed. Good. I'm going to pick a new developer. It's going to be this guy. Oh. Oh. Yes. Yes! Balls to the max! 78, 79, come on, baby! 80%! Yes! Gonna put out a little development here for Kill Me. Oh my god, look at Balls to the Max go! 250. Oh, starting to drop off on sales. Hold on here. Don't you worry, Balls to the Max. I'll save you. Oh, yes! I should have been the one to fill your dark soul with light. Wasn't that the new Devil May Cry? I want my economic simulation, damn it. Oh, we can buy new property. A bigger garage. Perfect. Little refrigerator to put all your beer in. Energy drink machine. Oh my god. Oh, and a coffee machine? You know what? You guys get both. I never want you to stop working. You can have all the energy you want. You don't get a couch because you're not supposed to sit down. Oh, and here's a couple of plants. You guys get some plants too. It's said to do a sequel at some point, so let's do a sequel to Balls to the Max. Okay. There we go. 
Uh, the sequel is never as good as the original, damn it. Hopefully it'll still make us money though. What happens if you just friggin' select everything? When you're updating the game. Oh, the game was removed from the market after generating half a million dollars in profit. <laughs> Not a one million dollar salary. Can we even do this? We cannot. All right, I'm making a new engine. I don't think I'll make it like six billion dollars this time. I want to let you guys know, Balls to the Max has like taken over the entire world right now. It's made over a million dollars. Come on, you, we have to get a win here. The hell is Daniel's Hotel? Son of a bitch. The joke's on me. I never thought that Kill Me would actually make me want to kill myself. The thing has lost us so many fans. Ooh, cartridges, sure. Uh, there we go. I never got to do our boat rugby, so we're doing our boat rugby. It's like boat rugby manager simulator, only I, I decide to call it your friends are talking about you behind your back. I'm gonna move these all over the place. <laughs> Beginner friendly, no. Your office is a sea of trash. You should buy more trash cans. It, maybe it's just me, but I'm not seeing it. There. How's that? You know what? Here's some more. There's one in the break room and one in the bathroom too. I totally forgot to do anything with our training room. I'm gonna buy this. Jesus, Jiminy freaking Christmas. Look at the size of the space this thing takes up. What the hell? Uh, yeah, I like the fact that it just levitates through the wall. Sweet. Game developer legends. Okay. Is that a, is that a legend? Is this a legend guy? Are both these legend people? I don't know. Whatever, he looks really skilled. You're hired. You know what? Screw it, you're hired too. Someone used our friggin' engine! Made $86,000 on it! Is anyone skilled in economic simulations, or is that too much to ask for? Oh my god, there is someone! I swear to god, if we get another worst game of the year, I'm gonna flip my table. One and a half million dollar profit. Game update, all of it, go. I don't know what a remaster is, but I'm gonna try it. We're gonna remaster the original balls to the max. Can we remaster it? We can't. We have to remaster Murder Your Friends. Whatever, that's what made all this possible. And it did right. Would you like to participate? Sure. Your friends are talking about you behind your back because it did really damn well. Oh look, we got fans that we're gonna lose the second that we get worst game of the year again. The random game name for this is Unsnatched. <laughs> Unsnatched is out, it's pretty good. <laughs> all right, we're finally getting eroticism in here. Erotic rugby, hell yes. The name, Erotic Rugby, hell yes. Apparently Erotic Rugby is a meh. Oh no. Not again. Not again. I know it's coming, the worst game of the year. Oh! Yes! Legendary staff member, get your ass over here. But Eroticism in Hell. I don't know how, but Eroticism in Hell is a big winner. You know that moment when you make a game <laughs> and you know it's gonna win you worst game of the year? I think that just happened. I'm gonna console myself with a bigger building. In fact, I want this bigger building. Just gonna put some plants everywhere. I'm just gonna call this one, I'm sorry for my last game. Hopefully we can fix this. Erotic boats, sure. Personal computer, uh, this one and this one. Back in the game, baby. We can publish stuff? Okay, I don't know what this means. Whatever, I'm gonna click it and hope it works. Oh, you have to produce it. Can we even do this? I don't know if we can. Ah, eh, you know what, we're gonna do it. What could go wrong? If we include all this, we don't make any profit. So all you get's a color manual. You can have this pen as well. Oh my God, they made a better freaking game than I did. Here we go. Mm. What happens when you buy the license to a game? Oh, well, Salone 2, lost in New Jersey, what? Return to Africa, eh, juggle the balls, did okay. I tried to get a game as low as possible. <laughs> Got a 15%, oh my God. Right, I'm just shoving as many desks as I can in here. There we go. All right, we're gonna try one that's trending. Haven't done that in a while. It's gonna be stones, but it's gonna be erotic stones. Your employees are freezing. You should install more heaters. God, these people always want something. There, right next to all the plants. You guys get one too, and you as well. Oh my God, what the hell? How did my sounds get to 99%? Unfortunately, listen to the voice is only made about $360,000. Okay. Obey is now gonna show up in interma international gaming magazines. Tell my wife I had another wife. That is the last thing you want to be saying in this environment. Never done hospital eroticism before. I haven't made a platform yet, so I figured what the hell, I'd give it a shot. What the holy hell? I should have made a platformer a long time ago. Oh my God, for kids is friggin' killing it. I should have known years ago that teenagers were the fig were the place to go. That sounded really weird. The teenagers were the people to sell to. Let's do pets this time. Okay, this is legit, man. We've got mouse driving and split screen multiplayer and save game report and all that crap and 256 colors. One of your games has countless bugs. 
Oh my god, it's Sega platforming. I hate platformers, but it's like the friggin' way of the future. I'm getting the gold star every damn time. 74 bugs. Yeah, let's see if we can get rid of all the bugs. Marketing campaign for Starbucks and Cowboys or whatever the hell I named it. Oh, for Keeds only made about $3.6 million. That's not too bad. Ah, what the hell, let's do a middle booth this time. Well, we did it. We made stacks in ways that effectively, slowly over time, tell people to rebel against the system and buy Starbucks, because I had to work that in there somehow. Hey folks, hope you enjoyed Mad Games Tycoon. Till the next time, keep pounding on your keyboards and stay foxy and much love.